Hi, hey, hello, welcome, my name is Shelly and today I am going to do the Cozy Autumn Book Tag. So as all tags go, let's just get into the questions. Question number one. What book always reminds you of fall slash autumn? Well, <laughs> um, seeing as I'm such a mood reader, I don't actually see books and genres as like set in different times it's very very rarely do i have like ooh, that's such a wintry book that's such a summer book that's a spring and autumn fall blah all all the seasons there are only four seasons but you know what i mean very rarely do i have like that feeling so i went with a book that gives me that autumn autumnal fall feeling Autumn and fall is the same thing, but <laughs> let's just use all the words, shall we? So I picked Dream a Little Dream by Giovanna Fletcher. So this book is about Sarah and Sarah has been single for the last two years, but during this time she has had to spend an uncomfortable amount of time with her ex. And of course his perfect new girlfriend. She's also not the happiest with her job situation let's say that but she's okay she's happy ish is she really because soon enough she starts dreaming of the perfect man mm -hmm. and she she just can't wait to fall asleep and go meet him again and then one day he just shows up at her work the perfect man is alive. What do we do now? So this is such a cozy little story and if you are into the rom-com kind of a genre I do recommend you pick this up because it's it's such a fast read you wouldn't think but it is it's it's great. Also can we appreciate that the colors are kind of autumnal like so question number two what is your favorite autumnal book cover again i don't really have a book that screams fall autumn all those kinds of things but one book on my shelf i'm sure i could find some some other book as well but one book that i really really like that same as with Dream a Little Dream has that same colour scheme, let's say, but a little darker is If I Should Die by Amy Plum. And this is actually the third book in the series, so I mean, don't pick this up first if you haven't already read the others two. Um, but this is basically a If Twilight Was Written Better and also set in Paris and it wasn't vampires, it was zombies or revenants as they are. Um, it's actually a very good series, it's one of my fave series and yeah, if you like YA and that kind of twilighty vibes, pick this up because it's a lot better. You didn't hear from me, <laughs> oh you did. Question number three, what is your favorite autumnal drink to read with? I mean, I would drink any of these drinks any time of the year, but the PSL, the, or the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, is only available during the fall, so I, I can only drink that then. Uh, so definitely that one. But I also really like a chai latte or a hot chocolate or, you know, just give me a good cup of tea and we are good to go. Question number four. Do you prefer to read late at night or early in the morning? So this is more of a whenever I have time to read kind of an answer. But if I would pick one where I read most I would probably say I read most at night but basically I if I have time I will pick up a book anytime during the day. Question number five. Halloween is coming. What is your favorite spooky read? 
So I'm actually going to go with the same author I kind of just mentioned. And I'm also going to go with two books because it's kind of like a duology. You kind of need, you, ne you need to read both and they're not the biggest books. So, I mean, together they are the size and it's like, it's like a normal size book. But the books in question are Dreamfall and Never Wake by Amy Plum and also can we appreciate how well these covers go together? Yeah. So the premise of these books is basically a couple of teens have agreed to take part in a very experimental procedure to cure their insomnia. So they're basically going into this like sleep program thing uh, and they're going to be checked vital. So what we see is we see from point of view of one of the like overseers, let's call them. And we also see from each of the teens point of view in their dream, uh, in the dream world. Because, uh, yeah, something, obviously something goes a bit wrong and uh, they all end up together in one giant nightmare. Or several nightmares, actually. Question number six. What is the ultimate comfort read for you? So comfort reads are basically the ones you should be picking up when you are in a reading slump or just before you know you're about to get into a reading slump or you know when you're just in a crappy mood and a crappy world and all that but <laughs> then you need your comfort reads because it's a place they will take you to that place where you feel safe and secure and nothing nothing can break you basically so my first go to is one we aren't really mentioning or rather we aren't really mentioning the author we're not talking about the author but it is this one or the series the first three books mostly but yeah also, to mention something completely different, which I could have just done the one, but you know, I, I need to be, I need to be honest. I do love a bit of this. I love a bit, I love too much a bit of that, but there we go. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on to something that's not, well, the author isn't as, we're not exing the author, basically. It is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. This is not a book I've read as much as the previous one, but or the series I've not read as much as the previous one. But it is one I do pick up every now and again because I just need me a bit of Rose. She is... She's good. She is a badass character and I am here for it. Also, Dimitri, hello. Yeah. Question number seven. What is your favorite autumnal reading snack? I am going to have to go with a cinnamon bun all day, every day. Oh, just a freshly baked, still slightly warm cinnamon bun. Oh, I need one right now. Question number eight. What is your favorite autumnal candle to burn whilst reading? So I don't really burn candles that often anymore because uh, I have loads of crazy cats and I fear for them hurting themselves and also them knocking it down and burning down the house, basically. Not that I leave candles unattended, but you get me. Um, so I went looking around for what I had and usually I go for these uh, Ikea ones. So this is the Apple ones. So it's, uh, it's a small 24 hour burning kind of one. I do have larger ones as well. But I really do like the Apple smell. The vanilla one is also very, very nice. Um, a bit of cinnamon maybe. Yeah. So I don't really have... I, d I don't have any like specific ones. 
I don't have any bookish candles. I should, shouldn't I? But yeah, like apple, cinnamon, vanilla, those kinds of scents are my faves. Question number nine. When you're not reading, what is your favorite autumnal activity? You can do other things besides read. What? What's that like? Question number 10. What is your autumn fall reading list? So basically my whole unread TBR pile. Cause you know, mood reader. I don't have like a set seasonal TBR. I don't really have a set TBR <laughs> to be fair. But basically all my unread books. I tend to do most of my rereads during the springtime for some reason. I don't know, new year. Read some old books. I don't know what that's about, but that happens. Um, so basically all my unread books. Yeah, I do uh, hope to read some more of them so I can buy new books. So that was all for me today. If you do do this tag, please comment down below and I will go watch a, your video. <laughs> so until next time, take care. Uh, bye bye.